Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Today I woke up quite early because I'm really excited. I really want to go to the beach. We're going to Garraf and hopefully also to Sitges. But I've been so happy since they opened the little beach house, which is a little club that has sunbeds and like a restaurant in Garraf, like in front of the beach. They opened it a few weeks ago and we've been going a lot. So you can see that I am a little bit more tan. I feel like I'm literally coming out of hibernation. During winter, we were not leaving the house that much and if we were leaving the house it was just for a few hours it was dark so early and lately i just feel a little bit more like myself so today is going to be a super sunny day the plan is literally just beach sun reading books maybe some apparel spritz and we also made a reservation to have lunch on this beautiful restaurant has ocean view like i cannot express enough how happy i am that spring is here and um the wedding is coming so i want to start getting a little bit of a tan and just do some more stuff outside last year we got a paddleboard to paddle at the beach but i don't know if we're gonna be able to use it today because the waves seem to be quite big so ideally we need no wind and no waves for it to be comfy because the water is still very cold so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to swim but at least i'm definitely going to tan read and if we have time i also want to go to sitges to just walk around town sitges is beautiful i love it so much so hopefully you're gonna start getting sunny vlogs and more beach from me and my content i already bought an insane amount of swimsuits different types of spfs stunning lotions um i need to to buy a beach bag but it has to be the type of beach bag that it's cute but i'm not gonna care if it gets stained that i'm gonna put on the floor and that type of stuff so yeah i have to pick the bag for today i'm a little bit confused on how to dress because when you're under the sun it's super hot but indoors it's still chilly so it is sweater weather i feel a little bit delulu and that i'm pushing it but honestly i don't care hopefully we can start doing this every weekend and start visiting like the little towns around costa brava which is what we did last year during the summer i also need to pick which book to read i want to start something new but i still don't know what and i have so many books that i've just ordered that are just sitting in my bookshelf waiting and i just keep rereading books that i really like so i just want to start something new i was thinking to bring masha with us but probably the water is going to be way too cold for her so we need to wait he loves swimming so so much so that's probably going to be something for another vlog so today it's only going to be us so i'm just going to catch up with some emails and wait a bit for polo it's super early so we have time we want to arrive like 9 9 30 to get like a good spot just in front of the water i really hope that it's not too full so i can vlog a little bit better but probably it will be because it's a nice weekend the sun is out i'm quite sure that everyone is going to take advantage and probably go so let's finish our coffee change and pack our bags and take the car okay about what we're gonna wear today it's sunny yes but it's still cold quite cold if you're not under the sun i may say so i'm definitely gonna take a sweater and pants but i already have my swimming suit underneath but besides the sweater i'm also gonna take a shirt i feel like my hair is quite messy today but it's so windy that i don't think it really matters so i actually recently found this swimsuit in sarah home i was really really not expecting finding swimsuits in sarah home but this one, I'm gonna show you close-ups, I really love it. It's a one-piece and probably the most comfortable to walk around all day. As for the bag of the day, it's going to be just my wallet. So this is my Constance limb and I usually attach this strap that I got from Etsy. I'm gonna do a bit of a what's in my bag because I definitely went a little bit crazy the past two weeks and I ordered a lot of stuff, skincare wise, bronzer, especially from Amazon just to like get the tan. It's just that I went to my wedding dress reading and I saw literally how pale I am. I tan really easy, thankfully, like I have never had issues with that, but I do want to use like good products and SPF. I want to be tan. Right now it's not too hot because during peak summer, like July and August, I could be under the sun for like five to ten minutes and that was pretty much it i felt like i was dying so i had to go into the water and today it's like 15 degrees it's going to be quite windy i don't know if i'm going to be able to get into the ocean maybe really quick because it's definitely going to be cold but i definitely feel like swimming today but this is the type of weather that is actually perfect to just lay down read a book and start to get a tan versus doing it july and august that it's super super hot i'm gonna do a little bit of a what's in my beach bag we're taking the car and we're going to soho house so it's not like like we're just gonna be at the beach it's actually a beach club where you can order stuff we're gonna have breakfast there but i want to take a water bottle because this one just keeps it cold no book wise i'm gonna take two i know that taking two is unnecessary but i'm struggling starting this one and this is one of my easy reads that i just love always 
having it. I'm currently reading it in the mornings. So this is Sense and Sensibility. Love this book so, so much. It's one of those comfort books for me. And the one that I'm struggling to read, I've talked about this before. It's Crescent City, but I want to get through it and I will. I just need to not get distracted because when I'm at the beach, sometimes I just start to look at things or go to the water or start chatting with Polo. So I'm gonna really try, but in case I just cannot focus on this one, I have this one. We're going by car, so it, it's fine. Like if we were gonna walk or take the train or anything like that, I would definitely not even take big books like this. For this, I ordered the full family of it and it's from Lancaster. I ordered this for after sun, so it's basically moisturizer. I found that for me, always the secret about tanning first of all is using SPF but the second is moisturizing so so much especially the face so after tanning or just when I'm done at the beach I wash my face or I take a quick shower and I put a lot of moisturizer in my face and my body so I don't really get red this is my favorite brush ever and I got it from Sephora I have multiple of this um, I just love it it detangles my hair quite easy so I just love having one every time that I go to the beach I need to get a proper beach bag I know that I'm gonna look online for something that has a lot of compartments because I'm taking pouches because of that Now this is where I have all the products. This little bag is from Amazon Nothing too fancy because I'm always scared that things are gonna spill but I have inside a Dior lip oil This is mainly probably for now not really when I'm tanning This is what I've been using in the past two weeks and I feel like it's working a lot This has SPF 30, but it does allow you to tan and like it good color so this is what I've been using on my body. And these two are for my face, the pants. This one doesn't have SPF, so I wouldn't recommend much using it. This I use when it's going to be just a small amount of time and I want to just soak up the color. It's basically a tan booster, but I don't use this one a lot and it doesn't have SPF. So this is the one that I actually love that it's basically the same as this. And this one is the Lancaster Sun Beauty Sublime Tan. It's water resistant and has 30 SPF. Usually for me, because I've always sailed, surfed, and like I really like to be under the sun. When I'm trying to tan, I use SPF 30. And when I feel like I'm tan enough, then I switch to SPF 50 or SPF 100, especially for the face. I'm not the crazy teenager that I was that I just only use tanning oil and yeah, I don't do that anymore. I use this for my lips because they also burn. So this is a Carmex, also has SPF and it's watermelon. And these are the sunglasses that I'm gonna take today. These were gifted to me and I kind of really like the style that they have. They are also not super delicate, so that's something that I really like when I take sunglasses to the beach because they tend to fall, get a bit scratched and they feel like very hard wearing. So I'm gonna put all of this back. Then I have this pouch that has underwear inside and an extra swimsuit and a little hair clip. I always kind of feel like pulling my hair back. So this swimsuit is actually quite similar to the one that I'm wearing right now, but this is actually a bikini. My underwear is also inside, but no, I'm not gonna take that one out. Basically, it's the same print for the bikini. I'm gonna link this one. I do have to say that when it comes to triangle, size up like all the way. I usually wear small top, medium bottoms, and I had to order extra large so they would cover the basics. So the one from Sarah Home, it's small and fits perfect. I really hope that I find it because it's beautiful. I really love it. This has been my print and my vibe lately so much. And this one, I was at the beach with my friend the other day and she was wearing this and had it at the beach and I just love it so much. I've never bought from this brand before, but it's from Brazilian Crush and this is the pistachio and salted caramel. This is just a body mist, but sometimes when I'm done at the beach, I feel like all crusty and sweaty and this smells so so good like this is the type of thing that i think i'm gonna wear the entire summer i actually got another scent let me grab it this one and it's smaller but this one is more like vanilla and macadamia and this one is pistachio and salted caramel i like this one better and the last one is mint so this is basically everything that I take with me. And I'm really excited about lunch because El Chiringuito is one of the best places for paella and fideuá. I just, I really like it. You're gonna see it because we do have reservation. So let's grab the car and see you at the Little Beach House.
So there was no beach, the tide was too high and the wind is super strong so they took all the sunbeds and they put them here on the rooftop but the weather is still amazing. We were able to tan, read and wait till 1.15 which is when we have the reservation for lunch in Chiringuito. It's one of the only restaurants here in Garraf and has an amazing view and amazing seafood. It usually closes during the winter so this is the first time that we're gonna go this year. This is um, Kinder Bueno ice cream. Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday after lunch, we just went home and basically relaxed and we wanted to visit Sitges today. So we grabbed Masha because the weather is amazing. Like it's sunny, but it's still cold. So I definitely brought a sweater. We just wanted to walk around Sitges with her today, go to some stores, maybe go for ice cream, a drink, just to fully finish enjoying the weekend. Here's Masha.
actually a golden swimming in the ocean and I thought that Masha was gonna lose her marbles and want to go in. But, but I think, actually she's very calm. Yeah, I think she realized Weirdly, that it's really cold. Yes. Yes. It's like it's cold, cold. And uh, yeah. right now she's only staring at pigeons while we have a drink. So when anyone asks me why we don't live in Madrid, this is the reason. Like we have so many towns like this that we can go and just drive 30 minutes and you have the ocean. You can travel to places that are like so close. Even if it's still like not super sunny and warm, you can still like kind of have spring. And during winter, we also have sun. So yeah, I think like this is summer in San Francisco maybe, or in the Bay kind Area. Of, yes. So yeah, we're very lucky to have this little town, like Sieges, La Costa Brava, that we can just go, 30 minutes drive, enjoy uh, an afternoon at the beach with a beer, a number of spritz. Maybe in like two weeks, we should go somewhere else in Costa Brava, but actually like stay at yeah, the hotel. In a hotel, yeah, that could be nice. Staycation type of yes. thing. Or we can buy a sailboat. Did we just drop it? Yes. Okay, so we're home. I thought to take a good bath and of course do my skincare. I'm really, really trying to be very strict with my skincare, especially right now because I don't want my skin to dry. And I also ordered bath bombs from Amazon. I think they're literally bath bombs for kids. But I don't care, so I'm gonna run a bath and do my skincare. Today I absolutely need to wash my hair. It's long overdue. I've been trying to push it more and more because I have really really oily hair. But of course if I have to style it every time that I wash it, I'm just trying to have like a three days no wash and then a wash day if I can pull it off. But it depends if I exercise, if I go to the beach or whatever I've been doing. And lately going to the beach or just being out way way more, I feel like I need to wash it more, which I don't like because I want my hair to be healthy. They told me not to cut it or anything before the wedding because I have layers. And I think it depends so much with the hairstyle that you're gonna do on your wedding day, but they told me just to not touch it. I asked them if they were sure because my hair grows really, really fast. We still have a few months to go and I feel like it's going to get so messy with the summer. But overall, I'm trying to keep it as healthy as I can. Same with my skin. Usually during the winter is when I start to really lack on my skincare, mental health and absolutely everything. I need sun, I need water, I need to be taken outside by force at some point. But really I was talking to some friends and just asking why were we not hanging out? Because we were hanging out so much like prior to October, November, we would organize dinners, just trips, I don't know, things to do. And then after December, especially after December, like January and February, I just felt like a potato in my couch. I was just trying to get by and I didn't like it at all. So I'm gonna try to feel what we're gonna do next year because I really don't want to feel the way that I did in the past couple of months because even with the wedding I was feeling so like overwhelmed it felt far away but it also felt overwhelming in not a good way and now I can feel like so much excitement I think about the party and the dress and the music and the cake and overall like the entire thing and I'm so so excited now so I feel like January February I was walking around with a little rainy cloud on top of my head that 
and I was just not like as excited as I am now and I talk about mental health a lot here on my channel because I do have anxiety and depression unfortunately and since a couple of weeks ago I've started to feel like I'm getting back on track and feeling a little bit more like myself so maybe next year we're gonna do way more like ski trips or activities or traveling or doing something else because it just doesn't work out for me to stay home because I'm so prone to just don't want to go out I love my house I love my apartment I love being here but I do need to be out a little bit to like reset in some way and I was definitely not doing that so my skincare has not changed in quite a while I love using the Laneige cream skin it's this one then I use the water bank and this is a Bobbi Brown face cream all of this I'm gonna link if I find it but it's probably in Sephora. I got all of this in Sephora and the stand-up store from Bobbi Brown. And my main face moisturizer is the one from CeraVe, like the one with the blue bottle. So after today, I do feel like we're probably gonna take a few more trips like around here, not really far away, like a one hour max, two hours drive. That's something that maybe we could do for the next few vlogs. I'm definitely looking forward to having the weather hot enough that I can actually swim because yesterday the ocean was crazy. We had red flag no one was swimming except from one guy that was surfing respect because i used to love surfing so so much but with this weather i would really never dare especially with the beach with so many rocks it's just no but i want to take advantage of all the european summer and just travel a little bit more see new places not just go to the same ones over and over again for now i think for next vlog we're gonna stay here in barcelona probably we're gonna try to take masha to the beach so she can swim and just I don't know, picnics, hang out with friends and then I need to go again to the other dress fitting. I think this is going to be the last one so I'm just really hoping that my dress turned out exactly the way that I wanted to. I'm really crossing fingers on that because I'm very very nervous. We're also gonna know about polo suit soon but I think this time after going to the dress appointment in Madrid we're just gonna go to my grandparents house and stay for a few days. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog but definitely I want to go and just relax, read some books and play with Masha in the garden this is something that i just i feel like i'm lacking so much since we live in a big city i need a garden i need nature i need quiet i love living in barcelona and i'm never gonna change that but i keep thinking more and more how much i wish that we had like a little stone house in the mountains with almost no one near us with no much noise a lot of land and maybe just growing flowers. I always battle between this life where I just want to live in a little house in the forest or living in a big city like Paris and go to fashion week. It's so weird. I think I do prefer living in the middle of nowhere, having a ton of animals and nature and grass, small cottage house. But I think that's something that we're gonna have to figure out probably after the wedding if we really want to buy something like that around here because I think I really, really do. Finding something is going to be hard because of course there's really really big things there's things that need a lot of renovation and you want something a little bit more on the simple side that we just get to renovate a little bit and maybe spend the weekends or the summers there i think that would be the best yeah i think i'm gonna leave the vlog here thank you so much for watching if you're not to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching i'm gonna leave you tutorials right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye